All right, guys, episode three of the Supreme Patty SEMA project going on. We have door panels. We're making good progress on those. Got all four molds on the last episode done and off the doors. Now we are trimming them up and we're going to figure out our speaker baffles. So right now I got this first door trimmed up. I'm going to start trimming the rest. I might change the shape up a little tiny bit. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I know I need to have this project done quickly. So I'm just going as far forward as I can and moving along with the project. So get the rest of these trimmed up here and we'll be back to show you guys the next step. Now that I got the second door cut, I want to point out something. I guess it's point out a mistake to you guys, but later on we'll fix it and I'll show you guys how to fix it. I'm trying to get this edge to meet up with the door nicely. I don't want it to overlap it. I don't want it to line up perfectly because also you have the fleece that stretches over and also Bondo, more fiberglass. But right here kind of dips down a little unevenly. So I'll fix that later on. I just wanted to point that out to you guys. You don't have to cut these perfect. They just have to be as close as possible. You definitely don't want them too big because then it's gonna add to extra sanding, trying to remove stuff and then you might have an undesirable edge once you sand it to meet the edge profile of your door panel. So, got this one all trimmed up. This one fits nicely, it's gonna look good. Trim the rest of them and on to more. All right, so I got all the bases of the door panels trimmed up so far, and here's where I can show you guys a little tip if you cut too far like I did and you need to fix something. So as you see, it's definitely not perfect, not even close. So I'm gonna add more fiberglass to that, run it out farther so I can get a better cut. Right here, I did the same thing on this door. This door has a gap too. I'm trying to get right to the, the seam of that sewing stitch or maybe an eighth inch off of there. So taping this up again, I'm gonna throw that on there over the tape after I plastic it off again, start fiberglassing the top right there and then get to this one here. Then I should have the bases fully finished. We're running into a bit of an issue here. We do not have speakers yet. We don't know what speakers we're using yet. So. That's going to pose an issue with our timeline um, and I'm trying to think of a solution where I can build these door panels a little bit further without knowing the speakers yet. So got more work to do, going to start fixing these up, brainstorming on solutions on how to fix it and uh, well not how to fix it but how to build these door panels where I can plan to put almost any speaker in there once we figure out which speaker and which company we're going to go with. So I'll get onto that and I'll be back with more. All right, after much, well, after a lot of time, I finally got these uh, doors where I want them to be. This is the passenger door right there. And the other passenger door is right here. These are the ones where they were quite a bit off of where they were supposed to be. I went and added some glass to it and then finished shaping all the rest of the door bases right now I've kind of narrowed down my idea for what I'm gonna do but being that we don't have speakers picked out and there is a short build time that I have um, all right so basically I've had this idea for a while I guess this is a good build to try it out on um, now that I don't know speakers because that is critical for a few reasons um, the speaker hole the inner diameter changes frequently between different brands and even different models on different brands or the same van brand, vice versa. Um, outer diameters, those vary a lot. I like to have my speakers flush mounted. Uh, mounting depths change on speakers a lot. So what I'm going to do with these doors so I can get them, well, get them ahead of schedule is... Uh, I'm going to make these baffles 
adjustable, well not adjustable, I guess you could say removable, changeable, interchangeable. So basically I'm going to make the shell of the door and have it where the baffle will be able to be changed with bolts. So I'll be able to do the whole door, the outside panel, the grill, all the vinyl, even before knowing what speakers. And then basically I'll just have a template save set aside for the doors that I can cut the baffle from and then I can cut holes in the baffle for the different size speakers that we're going to use. So this will help us get through that. More exciting news, got the seats for the build the other day. Doing the bucket seats in the rear. Those are going to look awesome. I'll show you guys more on those later on. But back to door panels and get into this new idea I got. Okay, now we got all the panels cut out, trimmed, put the bolts in so they secure to the doors. I will admit it definitely was a waste of fiberglass but sometimes you got to use a little extra material to get to where you're going I really didn't have a good idea but I knew I needed to get these done fairly quickly so I went ahead and did a full mold of the door anyway now I'm gonna go switching to this style where it's gonna be just the trim I'm gonna have the inside of that cut out and the baffle will sit into this so got them all done this one's drying up here these are these other ones are done right now. Got a bunch of quarter 20 bolts. These things are definitely never gonna fall off. All these will go through the panels and then I'll have big fender washers on the inside and um, nylon bolts, which will hold them on, make them really secure. Definitely gonna leave as much of the door panel as I can, try to keep a little uh, strength and rigidity there. Try to cut down on some time as well. This one I just finished up right here. And while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm ripping more of this truck out. Got the back seats in, but they don't fit as well as I thought they were, so I'm gonna need some modifications to make them fit. So I'm gonna leave you guys off with this episode here. I'm gonna start off getting these seats in for the next episode, do some modifications. It's actually really cool that these seats even are close to fitting. Looks like minor modifications needed to fit them. So I'm gonna get these in here, leave you guys for this episode. As always, subscribe to my channel. Drop a comment below, hit the like button on this video, and I'll be back with more videos later on, guys.